All right, guys, today we're gonna to talk about a couple or three knives here. And the premise of these knives are that I was without my main box of knives for a little over a month. So I thought today it'd be interesting to go over what knives I carried while I didn't have any of my knives. So what I'm talking about is when I initially moved to Anchorage, of course, I didn't have a place to really stay just yet. So as a, you know, um, point to that, I had to really kind of live out of a suitcase, so to speak. So obviously I wasn't going to bring down my whole Pelican case full of knives and try to, you know, make that work. So what I decided to do was I initially started off with just this knife that you see here, the Savivi Cubit, Quibit, whatever you want to call it. It goes by many names, but this was what I started off with. And the primary reason why I did is because this was a knife that albeit it's not that expensive I'm not that afraid to lose it so for whatever reason if it got lost taken stolen whatever I wasn't really that scared and at the same time too it is also just a really good general purpose well-rounded knife of course you can choke up on it super thin super slicey super good at being a knife it also is you know, overall pretty smooth the action is pretty good in fact maybe a little too good um, but anyways so I carried this knife for nearly a a month and towards the end of the whole um, situation or as I was beginning to settle in I ended up picking up these two knives so I ended up EDCing this guy for a week and this is a um, Emerson commander and I ended up picking this guy up at one of my favorite places here in Fairbanks or not Fairbanks <laughs> here in Anchorage EDC Alaska because they have a handful of Emerson still remaining and for those who don't know or for the uninitiated Emerson no longer sells to um, knife dealers so that was really crazy to see that like EDC Alaska still had a handful of Emerson so I picked up my two favorites um, the Emerson Commander, the full-size Commander, and the full-size Patriot, or just Patriot in general. Um, this one, I don't believe Emerson makes this model anymore. They obviously still make the Commander, but um, I had to have both of these guys because they are just too freaking cool. So I ended up picking up those ones. I carried, like I said, this one for a week. Then I carried this one for a week as well. So this one's all the most action, but what did I think of them? So as far as the Quibit goes or Qubit, um, this thing is okay. I will say if you try to like thumb stud flick it out, it's very easy for it to bounce back out of its um, locking mechanism. So most of the time you just spidey flick it and it's okay. But this guy was pretty good. Honestly, it's one of those blades that, like I said in like my original premise to carrying it, was that, you know, it's a knife that I'm not really scared to lose um, and certainly I don't want to have any of my knives go missing or whatnot um, because I you know make videos with them I like having them like playing with them but it's one that I'm definitely not scared of having anything bad happen to and so it was nice for that reason but it's also just a nice general purpose folding knife now like I said this is definitely a folding knife it's not going to you know baton through a rock or something but if you need to cut open a piece of uh, you know packaging or you know bag of chips or something this is going to do that all day every day and it is super slicey that tip is needle sharp and it is crazy how good this thing freaking slices like this thing I will say it's probably one of my most slicey knives in the collection just because of how thin that 14c 28n blade stock is like it's incredibly thin which makes it a really good slicey knife now moving on to the commander the commander is such a cool blade and honestly i love edc both of these guys a lot but the commander is very cool if you guys don't already know i have a very large soft spot for deeply recurved blades so the commander and my mini commander for that matter um, are very near and dear to my heart and i kind of got the commander because once again i've been you know there without any of my knives without being able to like pick up you know just carry what I wanted to on any given day I was basically forced to carry that one knife for almost a month basically a month and so I was like you know what I really miss my commander 
there's a full-size commander. So I ended up picking up a full-size commander from you know, uh, EDC Alaska, which was really cool. And obviously I said, carried this guy for around a week, a little bit more. And then I was like, screw it. I'm gonna get the Patriot as well that I saw. Cause they had the Patriot there sitting on their, you know, um, display or showcase. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get the Patriot as well. And the Patriot is one of the, um, Emerson designs that I find more attractive just because, uh, like I said in a previous video, I really love the way that the Patriot blends a almost buoy styled clip point in with a lightly recurved blade. So pull this guy back out so you can see like this is what you probably consider more of a deeply recurved blade. Whereas on the um, Patriot, you can see that it's definitely recurved but a little bit more softly. So it's not quite as deep almost. This is uh, like almost more kukri-esque kind of recurve, um, it, which is, it tends to be my preference, but I just think that the, you know, clip point slash recurve of the Patriot just makes it look so darn attractive and I freaking loved it. So EDC this guy for a little over a week as well. And that's kind of the um, end conclusion. Uh, I was able to then, you know, finally get settled into a place and um, then I was able to you know get my knife box back and I have been ironically what's in my pocket right now EDC some of my few are, are I guess they're really all my favorites but some of my most favorite blades that I miss the most so things like the Omnum Zon things like my recurved um, XM18 just fantastic blades absolutely love them two bits so of course like i said have to have another recurve in my pocket after carrying these recurves for so long but uh yeah they are just really fantastic blades the quibit is as well um it's a, a really cool knife for cubit um this thing is pretty cool, but definitely, definitely not an Emerson. So I, I do like my little Civivi knives. Um, they are just fine, but I do have a soft spot for my Emersons. And ultimately too, I've been carrying a lot of Emersons as a whole this year. I feel like I've definitely gotten a lot of pocket time with them and I definitely appreciate my Emersons, especially these wave features, man, it's so handy. Even in EDC, you know, like when you're around your house and you're just doing stuff and you need to cut open a pack package and just that wave feature your knife out and it's kind of cool but it's just more than not it's just handy because you can be holding something you know, just pop open that knife cut whatever you're holding and then you know just put it back in your pocket so it's almost like you don't even have to think about it so I, I really do love the wave feature and um, even though the wave feature was really initially more designed to be more of like a self-defense feature I think that it also is for the lazy EDC or like myself it is definitely a handy feature for us as well. So, you know, it is definitely a lot of fun. Anyways, those have been my knives that I have. Um, those are the three knives that I carried when I did not have my box of knives. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.